you guys I just this just happened this just happened this is a way that you can know what your purpose is and I'm not talking about like your purpose is beyond um, is beyond just like physical obtainment of things in this third dimension I'm talking about the way that you can know what you really are here to do besides just being here as you know just to experience the human experience and to just observe and learn and understand who you are you are here to implement certain type of skills in accordance to that that you are already born with and this is through desire this is through the fire this is through fire all right when you feel it's through the fire like it's dark right now and i'm in my room just you know just relaxing before i go to bed and i was just thinking about you know my next steps and this just i as soon as like i had i was listening to an audio and it gave me confirmation it's like it was just perfectly the right time for me to listen to that because it one of the and one of the questions that i was asking myself was how do I put the things together that I want to do in accordance with my gifts and the answers came to me in the video y'all it's so crazy I love it the answers came to me in video form and I'm over here realizing that anything that comes to you anything that comes to you easily that is in accordance and in alignment with what you're doing anything that comes to you hard is just something that your ego wants to do and it may not be in direct correlation to what you need to do so understand that if something comes easy to you i'm gonna give you an example all right so like one of the things that i i am called to do is healing through my hands like reiki massage therapy and all of that and i'm actually reiki certified level two but i'm gonna i've decided tonight just now i'm gonna finally get my level three attunement but i need to just start practicing for real on myself first and then uh on close family and friends and then other people this is one way to know this is the example i've had someone that i've known for several years now who's a healer like he helps people he does iridology and stuff like that he got a place where he pays rent just like provide these services i helped him with a business card i started giving him clientele and i even started doing massage therapy with him i had that place he gave me the key to that place to work with him anytime i want to come and bring clients i can so i have that place to utilize so it, it just came to me easily that came easily so you see whenever like let's say you want to do something you want to have a cake business or you want to uh start investing in homes whatever it is i'm just throwing out examples you know let's say you want to feed the hungry or you just want to like be able to i don't know teach music or whatever these opportunities will come to you you'll get a class somebody will tell you hey can you do this and it turned out to be a big gig or someone will want to invest in you like you know once you start speaking it and you start walking the path as soon as you put your foot on the pavement and you start to do it you're automatically aligned with where you need to go and you'll know when it comes easy that's why that whole talk about grind hard and do this and that yeah, like, you could grind hard when it comes to like you know being consistent in what you're doing, but you shouldn't have to grind so hard up until the point where you are killing. The universe talks within you, and you just have to pay attention. Literally, quiet down everything. You know, I haven't been in communication with some close friends of mine. I stopped going on social media as much, and I was just like really full. Today was an all-day focus on me. Today. I was outside sunbathing all day. I exercise all of that. All right. So these are some that's some tools and tricks that you can do to really align yourself to really listen clearly, loudly to your spirit. So again, one way for you to know what your purpose is if you start like I would suggest you guys to find a cool spot like tonight is a little it's a little cool. It's 72 degrees. The fan is on and it's very like it's not hot you know what i mean like i had my sweatshirt a little crop top sweatshirt on all day today but literally the minute i thought about this and i thought about the the, the, the um location that i already had 
So once you have a nice little cool environment, I would recommend you guys just you could lay. I'm on, I was laying out in bed when this happened. You don't have to meditate. You can if you want to. It's all up to you. Whatever your spirit calls you to do, whatever you feel comfortable or led to do. If they tell you do it right there where you're sitting, do it right there where you're sitting. But you will automatically feel fire. You will feel heat. Like I literally feel my etheric body pulsating outside of me. Like it was hot. I had to take off my sweatshirt because I was hot. Hot. I was so hot. That's like confirmation to your body because the fire is the drive that pushes you to do the things that you need to do. I've never felt that before. And perhaps I did and I wasn't paying attention to it before because I was already doing this. I'm a red I was already doing fitness and stuff like that. But you know, going through the dark night of the soul, I kind of just eliminated everything that I thought I knew. And it's funny, it led me right which is funny because it led me right back to myself. <laughs> It led me right back to myself, but now more empowered, more knowing my worth, more understanding the things that I did wrong and how I even got off the path, you know, really um, focusing now on manifesting things and understanding my power and staying in a high vibration. Now you could tackle what you're meant to tackle unapologetically. All right, so no, if you think like I would meditate, if you have four things you want to do, I would meditate or think about one thing for the day. I wouldn't do it all on the same day. Do one thing for the day and just see how you feel. Ask yourself about, ask yourself questions about it, how you like it, do you enjoy it, is it something that you're passionate about, do you know the ins and outs about it, and how do you feel. And as you're talking to yourself, you're going to feel that you're getting hot, hot. I'm talking about like you want to take your clothes off. That's how, that's how you know. You'll get really hot. You're going to want to just take off your sweatshirt and just, you'll get really hype. You'll get so excited and you'll get really hot. Okay? Um, 